So what I'm doing right now is I'm keeping a electronic shroud. It's from Mitsuku, which is a Shenzhou's quadcopter. It's actually a plus-shaped quadcopter. Basically, the function of this part is that it's going to protect the electronics and the wiring from the um, quadcopter's blades when they're rotating, since the wiring is really close to everything. Um, right now, I am printing this on my printer bot. It's a simple metal um, setup. I've got a heated bed added to it. I've also got the LCD screen as an option. Um, this is Hatchbox Pink ABS. Um, so far it seems to be printing okay. My bed temperature is 100 degrees. My uh, nozzle temperature is 235 degrees C. And uh, we'll see how it does. All right, we're getting a lot closer now. Um, I think we're at 23.9 millimeters in the Z. This part is about 29 and a half millimeters tall, so looks like we've got about six millimeters to go and we'll be done. I'll probably let it cool down before I try to pull it off. That way all the layers are bound together good. Uh, and we'll see how it turns out. All right, so we're literally, I believe, on the last layer. Screen is saying we're at 29.5. So this thing should finish up pretty soon. I think it's just going to finish this one side, and then we'll see if we track it okay. So, give it two seconds. Oh, there we go. And this is the part as it comes off the printer. As you can see, I've used support material to hold up any of the major overhangs. There's a couple of holes in, on each side, basically for the ESCs to come into that housing. And then there's one in the back, which kind of hard to see because the support material is blocking it, but that's where the USB connector for the NASE board is. So let this cool for a couple minutes maybe, and then uh, try prying it off the build plate. Probably build another one of these just for the sake of having a spare and see how it fits. Okay, so this is the finished part. Um, I just took my exacto knife and trimmed it a little bit in the areas where the support material is. Um, you can make that look real nice with a little bit of sandpaper if you wanted to, and since this is ABS, I could even do an uh, acetone vapor bath if I wanted to. That would smooth out all the lines from the printing and help it uh, adhere, bond to itself better. But uh, for the most part, this is good enough. Um, the only thing I'll do is uh, these holes right here on the sides are for the standoffs to pass through, and I'll probably file those out a little bit because I tend to find that my printer undersizes internal holes typically, and um, I could probably iron that out if I were to take a lot of time to calibrate all the, the different parameters like uh, the flow rates and the, the stepper motors and everything but for the moment it prints out well enough that the parts I get out of it I'm pretty satisfied with and I can use them with minimal amounts of prep so I, I just don't feel like fiddling with it that much because I'm you know for me the purpose really of the printer was to make parts for my copters not to dabble around in 3D printing as much so I'm gonna sand this a little bit on the holes with a file and uh, try it on the copper and see how it fits. Hopefully it fits fine. Okay, so here's the completed shroud. Uh, you can see it's got an opening for the ESCs to fit in there kind of. Um, these are the 20 amp little bees. There's a lot of uh, different speed controls about the size. Um, probably won't fit RG20s from Rotor Geeks, but if you're using DYS20s or little bees, it shouldn't be a problem. Uh, and you can also see I've kind of made it square on the bottom. And then right here it kind of does a transition into the same shape as the top plate. So it has this nice form factor. And uh, basically you kind of need that anyways because when you put the, the rotors on here, they're going to come really close there. But that's, that's part of the function of this item is it's going to actually encase all your wires inside and it's going to keep everything safe. As you can see, uh, this is a Naze Rev 5. So I have the port for the USB pointed out the back. I've got some combination of standoffs and a power distribution board in there which gives it that height so it may not work for everyone but it should work for me at least. The only snafu I can see is um, right here you can kind of see I made a clearance cutout for the head of the screw. Well I must have taken the measurement wrong because as you can see it's the edge is centered on the screw and not so much clearing it so it's kind of pushing out just a little bit there so I'll go back and I'll redesign it and uh, I'll reprint it and it should work fine after that other than that though it looks like it's gonna work good keep all the electronics enclosed in the Mitsuku 
and or Mitsuko, I should say. I keep saying Ku instead of Ko, but anyways, um, that's it. That's pretty much my design for the shroud, and I'll probably put this on Thingiverse so other people can print it out and try and use it on their Mitsuko.